Hello, good morning everybody. This is Frank and I am here with Michael and Victoria and we're in their home in right outside of Chicago. I want to thank you for all for being here with me. We're still on our uh, Frankly a Road Trip 2022 where puppy pickup. So we have Finks. Finks is here with us enjoying. She just had breakfast and we just had some delicious uh, blueberry was that blueberries we had? It, it's, uh, it's wild, wild, wild berries. It's, there's there's uh, blueberries, there was strawberries, there was raspberries, and uh, blackberries. Yes, it, crepes. We had a crepe with whipped cream. Uh, say, uh, we had, uh, both Aaron and I on our trip had an... Uh, had, we actually stayed overnight here <laughs> at their home and uh, very being very kind um thank you so much it was actually uh You're welcome. it's an honor You're we welcome. we're coming to the end of our trip and as you can tell i'm getting a little worn out <laughs> and but um both Anna and i have had a very blessed trip very uh, protected god taking us through the mountains uh visiting uh, a lot of really wonderful people and we got our pup with us and uh I tell you what, it's your kindness that has really helped us in this last this last trip as we uh, basically are spending the next, I would say, uh, 24 hours uh, heading back to New York. It's the Lord and gave me a little shot of adrenaline to get you back home. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. And you want you fall asleep and roll in the car. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. And we had a really nice, uh, the bed was excellent. <laughs> it was very comfortable. Yes. Uh, I just, just thank you so much. Um, it really does mean a lot, and it's amazing. Um, everybody out there, this is a part of our online community. The, um, both Victoria and Michael, and uh, their whole family. They have a, what a household they have here. Uh, they take care of um, a lot of little, little dogs. Actually, I'll let I'll let them explain. Victoria, why don't you share a little bit about your your home and and Anne Marie and your family and. Mm -hmm. So Anne Marie, um, she she wants to be a dog breeder. So she has. She has several dogs she's caring for, and uh, she's currently um, taking care mm -hmm. of Lutheran Charities Comfort Dogs. These are golden retrievers that go out in disasters or, you know, um, if there's a tragedy somewhere in a town, they, they send the dogs out to comfort or senior homes or sometimes even with children in certain areas with children. Mm -hmm. So she's training one of those dogs currently right now. So awesome. she, we're, we're busy with the dogs. <laughs> what type of dogs do you have? So we have Goldens, Golden Retrievers, and Pomskis. <laughs> oh, wow. And I tell you what, you don't need a doorbell in this house because <laughs> no. they, 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 they will let everybody know. And we, uh, we took some time and we met them all last night as they all welcomed us in, just loving us mm -hmm. uh, one at a time. Very, I tell you what, they know what they're doing as they uh, care for their dogs. And so we, uh, our little one, Little Finks here, did very well with all yeah. the dogs. Yep. We all know. Yeah, absolutely. And so um, I, I just want to ask you just a couple things. If you want to just share something about your life. Um, Michael, you're an incredible guy. I tell you, you're, <laughs> he what a cook. I tell you, we had some delicious. Actually, why don't you share them just a little bit about your family or something? Like that. And I was born here, uh, not too far from where we're at now. Um, an Italian family. Uh, we had a, we had nine. We lost a we lost a, a brother young, so it was a tight knit Italian family in a little Cape Cod that would you know today's standard would only handle two kids and mm. they raised eight in there right. so we really learned to share and give so you know uh last night we shared a little bit like my, i just showed a little bit it's personal your parent my parents are gone now so you know i wanted to share like here's my mom this is how she would do a salad yeah the no absolutely the salad delicious food. just right there table side just make the dressing yeah. throw it right on there and just start you know you could see yeah. the freshness of the dressing because i make it in batches now because I really don't have a big group to feed all the time. Yeah. So when you get a group of people, I get excited, you know, because yeah. now he it's like... feed the group. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> so that's just some of the little things that, you know, some of the things that Italian families do, they're tight-knit, yeah. you know, they're... Um, they're connected. Well, tell Kinda us... Kind of like the church family. Tell, tell them, everybody, what, we, what you fed us last night. All right. Well, you had stuffed shells, yeah. and, uh, and then I created my own little hors d'oeuvre, and then, obviously, the fresh salad. Yeah. And then uh, to top it off, we had jardinera, which was homemade. And it's pretty much jardinera come from Chicago, but it's it's a thing that was originated in Italy. It would be a jardinera means like garden. So your garden vegetables, whatever was in the garden. And a lot of, you know, it probably was peasants that they would just be able to pickle their 
their uh, their vegetables so they could put it on their food later. Mm. Um, you know, through the winter. So we got a jar of it, and Frank seems to like it. I, I told him oh. right out. I said, you don't like it. Leave it here, because we'll eat it here. So I won't be offended. Leave it in Chicago. And uh, he says he's taking it. We, took, we ate a half a jar. So it was, so we added a little bit of that to the to the, to the uh, to the ravioli. Well, we had stuffed shells. So yeah. the regat was really what makes the, for me, personally, um, a lot of Italian families have a personal connection to their food. The, the Picorino Romano, I'm going to tell it to, the, to everybody, that's the key to making good regatta. I mean, regatta, obviously, you got to have a good regatta, but to make the actual stuffing for your lasagna and your and your uh, shells is going to need a good Picorino Romano. Wow. So that's what you know. And what you tasted yesterday, and you're going to take some home with your little Picorino Romano. Um, so that, you know, there's a little history of uh, Italian food. Um, well, no, Chicago. I tell you what, there's Chicago. The the fact that you just sharing with me about your your father and and, oh, and yeah. your family during the whole thing, uh, explaining to me why you do things. <laughs> it's just you know when you really care. Little history. And the thing is, is that you're doing this out of care for your bro, your both your brothers who are coming in here from a long trip, going back to New York, and it's just wonderful uh, to be able to connect. You know, in the same room. You know, sure. pr- praying together, you know, being with each other, sharing each other's experiences and all. Uh, because we built a, a, uh, an online community that has people um, sharing things that are happening in our lives uh, with each other. And we live so far apart, it's, it's, sometimes it's difficult. This area here, it's a, it's a really family-oriented area. Even growing up, you know, you'd play with the kids on the block. You, the kids knew that the neighbors were watching out for the for they knew everybody's children they were watching out for them the kids came home when the street lights came on yeah. so people were caring for one another right. and that's the kind of community we grew up in you still see remnants of that you yeah. know maybe people don't have as much time now everything's so fast paced yeah. and but there's still some connections you still for sure. you still know who your neighbors are or you you communicate with them and things like that. You'll see the kids playing outside together oh, in the in the neighborhood and that. So that's kind of how we grew up. And then with a lot of family, a lot of family coming. Yeah. In. Michael came from a big family. I came from a big family. There was a lot of family around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Th- th- we're we're at our second marriage. Yeah. So um, gotta provide. Yeah. He yeah. absolutely does. And I tell you what. You always provide. Even, I was telling you last night, it's like when you get in your deepest struggles, and Romans 8, 28 is all I had. Yeah. He's going to make this good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's you gonna, know, and that's the thing about. It's going to um, make it right. It, it's one thing to be in a community. Yes. It's another thing to be in, as children of God, being brothers and sisters yes. in Christ. There's mm-hmm. not just a connection of just um, <laughs> living on this planet. No. But it's also a connection of knowing that we serve a living God who mm-hmm. has allowed us through his, the redemption of yes. his son uh, to have this the spirit um, that's, that li- literally seals us into the yes. day of salvation <laughs> where we're going to be yeah. all together for, forever. Um, and so it's just wonderful to be happy this moment uh to, here now to share that yeah and i've been watching frank for a couple of years so I, God I, for start, frank, man, yeah, I started a while i started with the covid you were you were a lifesaver during them because yes. there was so much going on and when you walked through that door it was like i already knew who you were <laughs> you <know? laughs> it was really something it was it's it's how god connects us together yeah. you know as a family and it's for like sure. It's like you already know the person. Yes. You already know them. When you meet a brother or sister in Christ, you already know them. And it's it, it, that's what I felt when I opened the door. I'm like, oh, it's Frank. Yeah. He's here. <laughs> if, if you knew Victoria and how um, she does not allow a lot, and we're, we're very private people yeah. when it comes because we we need to protect. We've been hurt yeah. before. Right. So we, we don't just let anybody in our doors. <laughs> All right, so you're. This is a gift that you're here. Well, so it, was, I, it is yeah. a gift. It is a mm-hmm. gift, and it's and it's a privilege for for both an Aaron, Aaron and I to be here, and uh, just even to sit down, talk to you, and, and participate with our online family because many are, are out there right now. They're lonely. They're, yeah, not only lonely. They, they need you, think, Frank. <laughs> not, no, not me. They need they need they the need Lord. Christ, but Christ is using you. But you know what? We're all together here. Yes. It's, it's not about Frank. No. It, it's really no. It's about what God is doing uh, yes. with our family and encouragement. For sure. Because you know what. 
you know, we can't do it alone. No, we right. can't. We have no. to. We have to be here together. You need a little shot of energy to get home. I tell and you God what, that, that, that's an honor. I'm honored to do that. <laughs> I'll step up, man. There was no little shot. <laughs> that, that was actually very, uh, absolutely wonderful. And and the pup too. You know, being in the house that you guys take, take care of dogs. <laughs> she's playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she, I'm the chew toy. Um, you know, she just, it gives her the, the little dog a break, and it gets. It was interesting watching her react to all your dogs. Mm -hmm. um, can you name your dogs for us? Just get the names or is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah you I can. can. So um, Annabelle, and then we have Hunter and Grace, and we have uh, Harper and Angel and Baby Juno. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you Baby what. Baby Juno's very vocal. <laughs> and, then, and then we have the, the uh, um, terrorist. Yeah, then we have. I call him the Jewish terrorist because his name is Zacchaeus. <laughs> He's yeah. a puppy, and he's the one that we're training. Right, well, Anne yeah, Marie's training. training right now, and he likes. He, he lives so up smart. to his name. Yes. He likes to climb. So Zacchaeus we've seen is Zacchaeus everywhere. in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I see even behind us, you have a beautiful uh, uh, fish tank here. I mean, you yeah. know how I love fish. Yeah, and I love animals and uh, and birds and we're so blessed. I'm just watching and just a wonderful how you take care of everything. It's just very, very well done. Um, it's just a, you're, you're encouraging me, you're blessing me, and, and all of us that are watching now. Now, one last thing I did want to uh, ask you about, because you do have, like, Anne Marie is your daughter, who is mm -hmm. a sweetheart of a girl, dedicated, um, but she struggles with autism. Yeah. And so I didn't know if you would like to share just a little bit with our online community, um, because being a mom of an autistic child, mom and dad, it's not easy. And, um, but what care? And what love and what focus. It's just absolutely amazing. You can see it in Anne Marie. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a wonderful blessing. We're, we're doing this early because we have to leave. Um, so Anne Marie is still in bed sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, just want, I don't know if you want to encourage some moms out there that might be watching. Yeah, so when um, Anne Marie was diagnosed, I didn't even know what autism was. They used something called pervasive developmental disorder. Um, it used to be one in every 188 kids. I, th I believe now it's one in every 38 children. Mm. So within a, within a 15 year span, it has, it has skyrocketed. Um, we, we had a long journey and it was um, just building her immune system back. And Amory's actually a miracle because um, at John Hopkins, they told us she would, she would never, uh, she, she would never, you know. Talk. Talk function read. have emotions yeah no emotions and so i worked so many years to to make sure she she had those things and as a mom you know i think any mom when you put the dedication in and i could tell you love covers a multitude of sins you know um even if it's sins of the world you know that affect our lives you can you can cover that in love and I've, I've seen things turn around. And she, she does things that people said she would never be able to do. And so to me, she's, she's a walking miracle. She is. You know? What and, a blessed, the girl is incredible. Yeah. yeah. And I, um, so the reading part, I owe to um, Robin Blaha. Because <laughs> she, she really stepped up and she used a program that is amazing. It's called Academic Associates. And Anne Marie learned to read from nice, nice. from Robin, and you know um, they are Robin and Steve are another brother and sister oh. in Christ, and they they were a big part of our lives until they moved to Florida, <laughs> <laughs> where everybody seems to be going. But yeah, they um, it, they were, it was a, they were it was a lot shepherd. of yeah. You know, she was single a single mom. They shepherded uh, Victoria. I actually asked. Steve for her hand in marriage because he well, was that connected. Too, but well, <laughs> first her dad, but then I had I asked him got a respect because he was involved in her. Seriously, these are good people, and God, like 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 you're saying, God will provide. You know, and, and then in the moments that you think you're alone, you're never alone. Yeah. And in our church, they go. really they really thought our story was a story of redemption. Mm. You know, because we both came out of such tragic situations. And we were both were alone raising our children for so long. Then and, and then the Lord brought us together and only God could have done this. Yeah. Only yeah. God could have brought us together the way that he did. He took all those broken pieces and yeah. 
just still men in them. Done. You know, yeah. you know, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a lifelong process. It's never it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, we're still human. Yeah. And we're still broken. Mm -hmm. You know, so we yeah. we are not perfect people, but. The grand scheme of things, the foundation's been set, right? So, and you know what? Yeah. He, he, his spirit uh, and his love sure. and his grace and his mercy covers He's an all powerful God <laughs> who, who takes care of us, loves mm -hmm. his children. Yep. And uh, yeah, and you know what? He wants a relationship with us. For yeah. sure. So there's that everyday step of faith that we yes. take as we move forward. I mean, both Aaron and I, you know, here we are. We're on this trip. We have to get in the car and we have to. <laughs> <do> <laughs> it. No, no, you can't chew the wire. Um, and we have to drive. We got to still yes. go through the traffic. We still got to deal with all that kind of stuff. But yes. you know what? We know there's a God who's watching over us, and we have good people. And, and I know some of the directions that you guys are helping us through as we're going to uh, exit this place and go towards New York, even uh, seeing a little bit of Chicago on the way, that the, the, the traffic and all that kind of stuff. It's very, been a very interesting trip from going to the mountaintops through yes. California, oh, yeah. uh, through Nevada, and then all those states. To the big cities. Uh, to now the big cities and stuff. So... You know, that's just part of our experience in life. As we move forward, we, we got to go through all these things. But you know what? It's an adventure. And God, through the process, we're trusting him all along the He's way. He's right there. And and you opening up your home, like, like just in love to us, uh, it's just been what a wonderful experience. And uh, it's been Thank short, you. but you know what? It's been a, such a blessing. We had the opportunity. Yes. And that that was... Rub what, elbows we, we, with a brother and a, uh, and a sister that we live on a... So other side of the state of the country technically yeah. mm -hmm. it, that i find that unique yeah i mean you you wouldn't be able to do this 50 years ago because there was no way to communicate like we do today but you know what like i was telling you last night what the what what the devil meant for evil mm -hmm. god will make it good no absolutely. so you know this 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 thing that we have this internet there's a lot of evil in there mm -hmm. but i tell you what god can make good out of it right always right. and this in, in this moment here you know pay attention you know you could use this for good. Oh, God could use this for absolutely. good. Absolutely. And that's what we want to do. We want for to move sure. forward. For sure. And absolutely. honor them, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you sharing, oh, both welcome. of you, uh, with our online family. Thank you so much for being here. Very comfortable as we head out to this, that <laughs> last, this last stretch. Um, very comfortable. We really needed this little good. Uh, good. break. And, yeah, we're so thank and you. like I said, the food was incredible. Yo, I mean, welcome. my goodness. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and so, but thank you again. Thank you for being with me. And uh, we have. Have, um, we have one more stop to, uh, in Pennsylvania uh, to meet with uh, with a friend who is actually uh, a, a part of the younger generation. Good. Okay, yeah. that is uh, one of our also viewers who watches uh, watches our community uh, together, and so we're going to do that one. One short stop tonight for a couple of hours and have something to eat together, and then it's it's straight to New York. It's like, and at that Go point, on. at that point, it's only going to be like four hour Go drive, on. which is nothing. You know, yeah. it's like yeah, nothing to what you've been through. through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. But, all right, so we're going to leave, all right, and the puppy's here. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, God bless, and uh, uh, we hope that our discussion today, as you've met your online family here, uh, is an encouragement to you. And uh, I just want to say God bless, and see you later. Bye-bye. <music>